everyone. He's your favorite morning host host. The host with the most. It's out of job. <laughs> One second. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Morning Banana Show. This is uh, number 72. <laughs> that song, uh, Onion Girl, by Holly Cole, a long time ago was floating around in my head, so I tried to cover it, and, you know, I didn't do a great job, but I did it. Detune my guitar ridiculous. You know, Holly Cole actually never plays that song live, and I found out why because the guitar tuning is ridiculous. And you could never do that live. You'd have to have like everybody would have to have one set of instruments for that song. Like, okay, guys, grab your bass for Onion Girl. Okay, grab your guitar for Onion Girl because they all have to be tuned down, you know? Most people don't bother with that. Look like at Onion Girl. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to the Morning Banana Show. My name is Adam Josh, that's what my mama named me. Called my mom on the weekend, she said she has diarrhea. So she told me and the kids not to come over and visit her, but other than that, I usually like to visit my mom once a week. How are you guys doing? I got a banana here, a little ripe. I don't know, I think this would be a banana bill banana. He likes the ripe ones. I like the, uh, I'm more on the yellow side. Everybody has their own favorites when it comes to bananas. But uh, I'm more on the yellow side of things as opposed to the uh, brown side. Yikes. I like my bananas to look like the Simpsons. <laughs> A little bit of green is okay. This is, this is the point where they get smelly, you know? So here I am, number 72, can you believe we're still doing this? I created the Morning Banana Show simply because I like to eat a portable snack in the morning and I have this little bit of time uh, to have a coffee and a banana. So we could talk about a lot of things. One thing that I thought that was uh, worth talking about is uh, what's going on in Wuhan in China the coronavirus so many weird things we can talk about like how there's a patent for it in 2015 oh if you look up the de definition of coronavirus it just means like the human flu um, there's a website tracker that I found online that is tracking the tracking the spread of it in real time. Uh, let's see if I can direct you guys who are watching to it. Hold on a second, it's right here. So, it's a long link, but um, G-I-S-A-N-D data dot maps dot R-C-G-I-S dot com Coronavirus C-O-V-I-D dash 19 global cases by John Hopkins C-S-S-E It's a, like a real time in real time dashboard of I'll, 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 I'll link the, this website on my Twitter account, adamjosh.com. It's tracking the cases of the virus that are confirmed in the top left, 45,204. Total deaths, uh, the death toll is now up to, sadly, 1,107. 
sorry, 1,117. And people that have recovered from it, 5,085. So those aren't really great numbers. But uh, I still say in the world more people have died from car accidents. So that's something to temper it all with. But the people who are on the cruise ships, for instance, who are in quarantine, um, one is owned by Carnival and there's another one, uh, Princess, Princess Cruises or Princess Line Cruises. These people are stuck in there for, you know, over a week now. Pretty serious for them. Um, if that's not a shot over the bow to the flat earth community who thinks they're going to do a boat rush to Antarctica um, and North Pole and measure the circumference of the alleged earth, then I don't know what is. Uh, Math Powerland had a great idea about measuring the curvature of the earth. Um, two circles, one ball, he called it, and um, at first when he was uh, pitching the idea of how to do a boat rush, I got behind it 100% because I thought he was talking about going from north to south and then back to north, a double traverse. And the more that I got into realizing, I got into researching what he was talking about, he meant going to the North Pole and doing um, east to west circle, and then going to the South Pole on a ball and doing an east to west circle. And if the measurements match up, then you would prove the ball Earth. Uh, and on a flat Earth, the top North Pole uh, distances would be a lot drastically less than the South Pole. Because on the flat Earth model, the North Pole would be like a tiny circle, right? If you're go Comparatively speaking, it would be a tiny circle of going in a circle. And then the outer circle of the Antarctica would be um, a lot more bigger. So then you could say, well, this disproves the ball earth, or there's a lot more land, or, you know, it gets chubbier, it's an oblate spheroid, is I guess what the globalists would have to fall back to. But a shot over the bow, because you can't leave. You can't leave, and if you leave, oh, there's a virus on your ship, and now you can't come back, so don't come back. Everybody's gonna die on your ship of a virus. It's a shot over the bow. And uh, whatever Wuhan is spraying, you know, they're, they're saying that they're spraying Looks like DDT, right? Looks like they're spraying uh, the city streets and storefronts with this um, uh, aluminum, sorry, aluminum, Freudian slip there. Slaying it, sp sl slaying it and spraying it, wow, I need coffee. Slay, spraying it with alcohol, a mixture of alcohol and, and something else in water. Acting as a disinfectant. Yeah. Cast a different light on chemtrails, doesn't it? Because we've been being sprayed for over a decade. Is that disinfectant that they're spraying? Maybe they're just spraying us with disinfectant. I'm not going to do it. I was going to call Math Parallel. I'm not going to do it. We're going to call Desiree. Two eight nine. Let's see if Desiree answers. Talk about her Reiki business. Morning. Good morning. It's Adam from the Morning Banana Show. You're live on the show. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Do you have a minute? Sure. I, I just wanted to follow up on the Morning Banana Show and ask how your um, advertising campaign for the new Reiki business is going. Oh, well, um, everything is wonderful. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Don't you have ads playing today in an in a interview or something playing today? Yeah, I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to... I don't know them by heart right now. And there was a contest as well, right? It's coming up at the end of the week, and that's going to be for a free session for one or two people, depending on what the winner chooses, plus free admission to my next Boundaries workshop. 
And this will be a Niagara Falls. Best places that people can follow your work at? Um, on Instagram, I am Pure Love Reiki. And then I recently added Facebook. Um, I am Desiree E. Get this. Get it? Desiree E. Uh, <laughs> um, and my page there is Pure Love Reiki Canada. And then on Twitter, of course. Just follow Adam and you'll notice me. <laughs> Alright. Anything else you'd like to add? I just wanted to get a quick follow up. Um, I love you. You're the most amazing human. And uh, thanks for the follow up, I guess. Okay. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Bye. Okay. That was Desiree, my life partner of five years. So. <clears throat> She's doing her own Reiki business. If you need Reiki, go to purelovereiki.ca. Uh, what else can we talk about? <clears throat> yeah, the coronavirus. Not not very good news about that. With it, uh, <clears throat> 41, what does it say? 45 total confirmed. 45,000 confirmed cases. Crazy. In American news, Andrew Yang dropped out of the presidential race. Joe Biden looking like he <clears throat> will not make it. I mean, we all knew this, by the by, from the get-go, that it's not going to happen for Joe. Maybe Joe didn't know. Still waiting for uh, Hillary to pop in and jump in as the um, Democratic front-runner. So, American politics, what a mess. But yeah, so I, uh, at this point, what can I say? I think uh, Trump is going to get reelected, and if he doesn't, then uh, my if I had to choose a candidate, I would choose Tulsi Gabbard if I had to to run against Trump. Obviously, Trump is running, right? Obviously, Trump is running for a president again. So if you had to pick some people to run against him, like he's running, fact. So if you had to pick some people to run against him, I would say, um, on the other side, Tulsi Gabbard would be a, a great opponent. I'm not discounting that um, Hillary might pop in and try to do 20, 20 all over again. 2016 all over again. Sorry, coffee's still kicking in. <clears throat> what else can I say? Harvey Weinstein will not testify. Yeah, if you're that guilty, it's probably better that you don't talk. <sighs> Let's listen to Onion Girl once again. Call it a day. I'm a stable genius, he said. So when you look up at the sky today, just know that um, here in North America, we're like Wuhan, China. They're spraying disinfectant on us. I mean, I've been noticing chemtrails being sprayed since 2004, 2005. I started talking about it in 2008-ish, between 2008 and 2010, freaking 10 years ago. So this has been going on for a long, long time. And you're totally helpless when things like the coronavirus or various viruses are going to break out because people like me who've been looking up at the sky and seeing these uh, beautiful, loving, wholesome chemtrails being sprayed for the last 10 years, um, we realize they could have been spraying anything at any time. Any. At any time. The chilling effect. Follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com. My websites are AdamJosh.com, AdamJosh.rocks, AdamJosh.band, I think. I don't know. I've got a few. 
And uh, speaking of websites, I am going to purchase another website today for the new repair business. Complete Cleaning Solutions. I'm going to see if a .ca... Oh, God, I don't want to do that. Complete Solution. .cas are so hard to manage. Maybe I'll do a .com. We'll look it up. I'm going to buy another website today for the new business and work on that. All right, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.